guys, I'm back with another video and so soon, but I'm really excited to film this one today because this is a, a video that I've been wanting to do for a while and it is my top five favorite liquid foundations. Um, before I started beauty blogging about a year and a half ago now, oh my god, that really went quick, I didn't really use liquid foundation only because I really wasn't sure how to use it. I was kind of um, a beginner with a lot with liquid foundations but I've become obsessed with it I've tried so many different brands I've tried high-end more low-end um, drugstore brand I've tried everything um, but I think I finally have a handle on what I like on what I'm looking for on what's good for my skin and I wanted to share that with you guys today and what I really do like about the selection that I have is even though there are five foundations it really does range from like really really high-end where it's just kind of a little more expensive but good enough where I don't mind spending the money to really really reasonable where it gives um, great coverage for a an extremely awesome price so before further ado let's get into this okay the first foundation that I want to share with you is one that I have heard so much about for um, the past couple of years and for some crazy reason I did haven't indulged sooner and that is the makeup forever HD um, foundation this stuff is so awesome I'm wearing it right now um, I, this this stuff is just so great I, it's one of the highest rated foundations on sephora.com and I, I, every time I ask someone uh, you know what's their favorite foundation to use they immediately say makeup forever HD and so why I haven't tried it sooner I really really don't know but what happened was is the reason that I tried is because my sister's getting married in November and I am doing her makeup and I'm really really excited but when we went to go to Sephora and we did that new um, oh the skin matching uh, system with that uh, with that electronic tool that scans the skin it's really really cool um, uh, one of the foundations that came up was Makeup Forever. And although it was a little expensive, um, you know, I told her, I was like, listen, I've heard, I haven't tried it personally, but I've heard so much about it. Please try it. And she did. I did her makeup for her as a, um, as a trial run a few weeks ago. And it went on beautifully, made her skin look flawless and gorgeous. I mean, she's a beautiful girl to begin with, but it was just really, really incredible to see um, because I don't think she really has used foundation like this before. So it was really cool. So I decided that I'm going to splurge and I'm going to buy it. And I use this shade N115. It's like one of the lightest shades because I'm very, very fair. But this stuff is just awesome. It provides... Um, for me, full, I mean, I think it's like medium to full coverage. I really like it. It's lightweight. It doesn't, it, it really doesn't feel heavy at all. It doesn't dry out my skin. And it just, it really just evens out the skin tone and a little bit really does go a long way. So I just really, really like it. And although it's, um, it's got sort of, um, sort of like a matte finish, but not exactly like a full on matte. What I like about it is it does provide a, a a dewy enough finish where it just makes your skin look healthy um and i'm just i'm obsessed with it i love it i highly recommend it and i'm sure that there are many people that you could ask um that will recommend this as well another foundation that i'm going to use and i think i'm going to go in order from higher end to lower um lower end and more reasonable um, in pricing. So the one that I'm going to show you next is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Foundation. This stuff is really, really good. It's not as full coverage as the Makeup Forever, but it's just enough coverage um, and it gives just a really nice dewy finish. It's a little more maybe like light to medium coverage, um, but I really like it. It just, it makes my skin, if I want more of a dewy light finish, this is the foundation for that. Sometimes I really just like to mix it up with um more of a matte foundation if i if i it, it kind of depends on the look that i'm looking for but um this stuff is just really really great very very lightweight very dewy makes your skin look really healthy and um i really like it again a little more expensive um uh, i like it i really really do but i think since i found the makeup forever foundation i think i it, 
for high-end foundations, I'll stick with this one over this one, only because this one just provides more of what I'm looking for. But this one is really just, um, it, it's fantastic, and I do recommend it if you're looking for more of a uh, light natural dewy finish another foundation and this is kind of um this one is a very reasonable foundation i think i got this for under 15 dollars at target and that is the number seven beautifully matte foundation and you want to talk matte this stuff is matte um, it provides full coverage. The awesome thing is it has an SPF of 15, so I was a little more comfortable, although I really, I, I say I don't like wearing a lot of makeup in the summer, but I do anyway because that's, that's just me. I just really do like full coverage. Um, I felt a little better wearing this in the sun because it did have um, an SPF, but this stuff was is really, really awesome. I mean, it, it made my skin full coverage right away. Another product where a little bit goes a long way. The one thing that I didn't really like about it, and that goes for a lot of matte foundations, if you have dry skin, matte foundations aren't necessarily right for you. Um, I don't have that much, it's, I don't have terribly dry skin, but I do get a little dry around this area right here, and sometimes even on the chin. But what I like to do, just to kind of make it, um, give my face just a little more hydration and moisture, I'll either mix it with my MAC strobe cream or my Lush Feeling, um, feeling lung, younger skin tint just to give um, this uh, product a little more of, of a glowy finish, a little, a little more dewy, but this stuff is really great. Again, really reasonable at Target. I've tried some of the other number seven foundations. Um, I forget what they're called. They're, they're the ones that have more of a lighter uh, coverage more sheer and I didn't really like it that much but I know that Pixie Woo there's um, a number seven foundation that they really like I forget the name of it but um, this stuff is really good I'm really happy that I tried it and I think it's just really good you're looking for a matte finish here you go this is yours right here another one that I really really love um, that I actually I haven't used it in a while but when I do I love it so it's one of those um, I love, but I will never, um, you know, I'll forever love it, but I maybe don't use it as often as I should. And that is the Neutrogena Healthy Skin um, Liquid Foundation. This stuff is fantastic. And I've heard um, others compare it to the NARS Sheer Glow, that it is pretty much an exact dupe. And for the price, I mean, this is, I think, under $10. So how could you say no to this? But um, it's very light coverage. I find it gives to like me medium, uh, very, very light feel, medium coverage. And I just really like it. I just, I put a picture on Instagram, God, probably like a year ago, maybe a little less than that, but, um, a while ago when I used it and I look at the picture and I'm like, just, wow, it is just a really, really beautiful foundation. It just makes your skin go glow, makes it look healthy and natural. And, um, so I really do uh, recommend this. If you're one of those person that doesn't like wearing a lot of makeup, don't want to spend that much money, but you know, you want to wear makeup for like a special um, event or an occasion, I would recommend this one because I just think it is right up the alley of someone who doesn't necessarily um, like the feel of makeup that much. So this one's just really great. Okay. And lastly, I think this is the most reasonably priced, um, out of, uh, any foundation that I've ever tried. And I really, really like it. I wasn't expecting to love it this much, but I really, really do. And that is the Elf Acne Fighting Foundation. I think this is like $6, three or $6. I forget, but really, really reasonable. Um, and I love Elf, but it's always a hit or miss. Some of the things are better than others. So I was a little iffy about this. Um, but I really, really do like it. Just like the number seven, Beautifully Matte, this provides a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful matte finish. Um, I really like the texture. It's not too watery. Um, it comes out where it's just a little more, um, creamy. Um, and I just really like it. It has uh, witch hazel in it and tea tree and aloe. Um, but the one thing about an acne foundation is, um, you know, anything with acne fighting properties is supposed to just kind of dry up the skin a little bit because like acne up on the head, if you use like a tea tree, um, uh, spot treatment, it's supposed to dry up 
the pimples. Um, so that's great for my forehead because sometimes I get a little acne on my forehead, but um, again, for those dry areas right around here, sometimes this could make me look a little dry. Um, but like I said, adding a little bit of my um, skin tint and strobe cream, um, it's really, really good. It's surprisingly long lasting and I really, really I do love it. So out of the five, I would have to say that the Makeup Forever is definitely, definitely, definitely my favorite. Like I said, kind of more expensive. Um, not kind of, it is more expensive. It's like $42. So some of you may be like, oh my God, why am I going to spend that much? But um, I kind of, if, if you're not into makeup, don't get it because it's just going to be um, a waste for you. Uh, stick with something a little more like this one. Um, uh, which is much more reasonable, but uh, I absolutely, ooh, I'm dropping stuff. I absolutely, I just think that this one is perfect. I love it, and I think um, I'm doing a few weddings coming up, um, and I ask the bride to just pick out their foundation that matches their skin, and my new one to recommend is the Makeup Forever because it's just fantastic. So that's it. I know I just, I think I kind of ran through these a little quickly, but I was just, I'm really excited to just share it with you guys because I really think that I finally have a handle on my liquid foundations. I found what's good for my skin. I found what um, what I like to mix um, with certain foundations to, you know, to get the look depending, the, the look that I want, you know, that I'd be in the mood for. Um, so I've tried so many foundations and I think I finally found um, my my loves and my favorites. So I hope that um, that you guys found this helpful if you're looking for a good liquid foundation. Please let me know if you've tried any of these, what you think, or if you have any other foundations that um, that you think I should try because I'm always up to trying new foundations. I'm, I'm obsessed with making my skin look um, look healthy and and glowy and beautiful. So um, so yeah, so that's it. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Follow me on um, follow hello .com, my blog. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram, Tumblr, and all those other fun social media type places. So uh, go find me. Love to talk to you and. Um, I think that is it. Thank you so much, guys. Bye.